going to show you a way your calculator can help you to uh, find the asymptotes of a trig function. Uh, so the one that I want to do as an example is cosecant pi over 2x. And of course, you have buttons that you should be pressing for these. And then plus 1. Um, it's much faster for me to type it, so I do. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to use, let me hide that, use what we know. So really what we're looking for is where phi, the guide function, which is 5 sine of pi over 2x plus 1, we're looking for where that guide function intersects its sinusoidal axis, which is at 1. Um, so the way we'll do that is we're going to insert um, a calculator page. Then we're going to go menu, 3, 1, um, and then 5 sine pi over 2x plus 1 equals 1 comma x. Uh, this is one of the big advantages of the CAS is that it can solve things in general for you rather than uh, give you one specific solution. So this is telling us that uh, this equation has solutions at um, x equals 2 times n where n is an element of the integers. Um, I'm getting n2 there because I actually had run through this before and screwed something up and started over. Um, so for example, if I'm talking about the function uh, y equals negative 8 cotan of 5x plus pi over 3 plus 5, let's say. Wow. And I want to find where that has uh, its vertical asymptotes, kind of generalize that. What I'm going to do is uh, menu 3, 1, menu 3, 1, and then uh, graph the guide function. So the guide function, negative 8, not graph, type in tangent of, whoops, 5x plus pi over 3 plus 5. And then I want to know where that is going to equal 5, right? Because anywhere that um, this thing is equal to 0, which is essentially what we're doing here by saying equals 5, subtract 5 from both sides, equals 0. Anywhere that that happens is um, a place where it's reciprocal, which is cotangent, is going to uh, be undefined or have a vertical asymptote. So let me solve that, and I get that answer. A little weird, probably not what I would have gotten if I did it by hand. So I'm going to go into Menu, Algebra, Expand, get that, um, and I see that. Still probably not what I would have found. So what I'll do here is uh, I'm actually going to add, um, actually I can go up here and just get this part of it if I want. I'm holding down Shift while I um, do that, and Shift is right here, but I can't show that for some reason like this. If I just add pi over 5, because this is saying uh, negative pi over 15 and then plus integer multiples of pi over 5. So if I just add that, it gives me what I probably would have gotten when I solved it by hand. Um, and that's just one of the ways that you can use a calculator to kind of make your life a little easier, which uh, obviously I'd recommend you try to do whenever possible. So uh, I hope you find that helpful. It's a good reason to have a CAS, and if you're going to have it, you might as well know how to use it. So I hope this is helpful.